Hello, sir. Yeah. Sir, actually, uh, we have MFOX. I have MFOX class from four to six on Fridays. So, like you actually actually told now, so from four to five, keep it free. Actually, it's not possible, sir. So, how many students are there? Sir, actually, like uh, I am taking it as my discipline elective. So, I think I don't know how how many of. Uh, so you are in which year? Third year, sir. Third year. So, third year, he. Okay, M Fox. Like, uh, who is teaching this course? Uh, Professor Samad, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so it is from four to six. Yes, sir. On Friday. Yes, sir. Okay, so it's but possible like we can start thirty minutes earlier. It's possible, sir. For me. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Tell me once again. Like instead of like from four to four thirty, we can I can come. Thirty minutes early, half an hour earlier, sir. From two thirty to three, if that is me. No, see, it is not with you because, uh, uh, see, everyone. Uh, I need to like accommodate everyone. So this is uh, the time we are going to have exam. So I can give it in the evening also, like if that is. So. Me. You see, if uh, only few students are having this issue, I would request just uh, discuss with Professor Summer, and if he can just uh, at least thirty minutes, he can delay. Uh, so if he can start from let's say four thirty, okay. So at least thirty minutes. So uh, as I mentioned, so every Friday we are not going to have this um, uh, this module exam. So once we complete one particular module, then only we'll have this uh, exam. So thirty minutes at least. We need thirty minutes. Mm, if we uh, like a doubt clearing session, you can uh, have uh, the session. Maybe we can you can talk to me later on. But during exam, everyone should be there and at a fixed time. Yeah. So uh, talk to once again. I think today you are uh, today is a Friday, so you can talk to him today. So at least uh, thirty minutes if he can delay. I think he will accommodate, but uh, talk to him and let me know. Okay. So this is uh, the uh, class schedule overall. And next, uh, I hope my slides are visible to all of you, right? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Yes. So now uh, I think prerequisite uh, applied electronics uh, as well as electrical system around us. You have already completed, and uh, the other uh, few courses uh, that you can uh, relate with this course is uh, microelectronic device and modeling E five two zero power semiconductor devices E five two six power electronics E three zero nine, and once again your this app uh, this analog electronics I think E two double one. So you uh, next. About the study material, so study material we are going to follow these first two book. Mm, so uh, first one is by SMZ. Uh, so It's not responding properly anyway. So this SMZ book uh, uh, that we are going to follow, or uh, semiconductor device physics and technology. So this is a, a very fundamental uh, book. So I would suggest you to read this book if uh, you really uh, want to know this subject. And apart from this uh, uh, SMZ's book, you can follow this uh, uh, next book uh, Mul by Muller and Cummins on uh, device electronics for integrated circuits. So then these are a few reference books, and you can always follow this Moodle link. I think you have already joined in the Moodle link. And now regarding this class material, so 
you can follow those textbook that is in these books and uh, uh, and muller's book apart from that we'll provide you handouts that means the transcript for uh, all the classes and uh, along with that we'll uh, provide uh, you this annotated slides as well as recorded lectures and i believe uh, if you follow this three uh, this uh, uh, class material uh, perhaps you don't need to read uh, the textbook, but anyway, there there cannot be anything to replace uh, textbook. So I would always suggest you to go through that. So now, perhaps this is the most important slide uh, in today's class. So we are having six modules in this uh, EE three double one, and. Uh, uh, from the first five module, we are going to have five module uh, based exam. So uh, the timing will be, so it will be 10 marks uh, exam. And the timing will vary from 15 minutes to ha uh, your half an hour based on the content. Uh, so now out of that five online, that module based ex module exam, we'll consider four. Then we are going to have mid same exam that is 20 marks it will be entirely based on viva so one to one viva will be there and uh, finally we are going to have this end same exam where, where we'll have 30 uh, marks Okay, so again, so here we have uh, power cut in our campus. So sorry for the interruption. Once again, I need to share the slides. I think it is again disconnected here. Yeah. Yes, Priyanshu, you can tell me. Just speak out. Priyanshu Shin, Shin, you want to say something? I think he has disconnected. Is it? So, Arpit, am I audible? Yes, sir, audible. Okay, 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 okay. So now my screen, uh, can these slides are visible? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. The screen is not shared. Uh, okay, okay, now. okay, okay. I once again need to share them. Okay. Yeah, hopefully now it is visible. Yeah. Now it is visible, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, this is the plan, overall plan, like uh, 40 marks on module exam, 20 marks um, uh, mid sem which is entirely based on Viva. And then in sem we are going to have 40 marks, 30 online exam, and 10 Viva. So um, in a, a, once again, like uh, looking at your uh, this uh, comments in the survey, so I also felt like uh, uh, 
uh, like uh, assignment and then all that. So I remove that at the assignment portion. So instead of that, we'll follow this. Is this all fine? See, uh, just one by one, you can comment because the module exam means. So module exam means, uh, see, uh, as I mentioned, this E311 has six modules in total. So out of that six module, from the first five module, we are going to have five of exam of 10 marks each. Now, um, uh, so this will become um, completely online exam. So like uh, multiple uh, MCQ type question or something like that. So uh, you'll be asked. So then you'll get 10 marks for each module exam. And out of this five module exam, only the best four will be considered uh, for your 40 marks uh, of overall uh, this uh, uh, 100 marks in this E3111. So that is the module exam. So uh, when will we know about the module exam, like uh, on which Friday it will be going on? So that uh, you can understand like uh, whenever uh, like uh, you will complete any particular module after that only we will conduct again after that um, uh, we'll uh, take a doubt clearing session. So again doubt clearing session we are going to conduct in each week. So after that only we'll conduct this uh, module based exam. Okay, so uh, we will know about uh, one week before the exam, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I uh, so I hope if you just keep on following the classes, uh, there will be no uh, problem with the module based exam. Okay, so also one uh, doubt from yeah. the fourth year students like can we have assignments included in the evaluation pattern no assignment to uh, this this time see assignment uh, um, i don't think this in this online mode it is a uh, best way to evaluate anyone because uh, yeah so assignment we are not going to uh, have in this time okay so again, don't worry, uh, see, uh, just let us get started. And this module exam will not be uh, so much of burden. So don't worry, I, I can only say just. So. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, actually the main issue is that uh, in this course, we will be having seven exam plus two viva. It will, it seems like too hectic. That's why the seven, main concern is there. Seven exam plus two viva. So it will be a 14, uh, 15 minutes. So that exam means uh, it is not that key one to two hour exam. So only that is why I uh, told you like uh, only um, MCQ type of course chain only will try to evaluate whether you are following the lectures properly and uh, just the understanding is uh, clear um, that will uh, try to check that is that's it. So it is not like uh, any full fledged exam. So don't worry. So earlier also we took, uh, took in this way. So um, don't worry. So assignment and all that, it will complicate the thing, I guess. Okay, so just don't worry. Uh, sir, I would like to add one point to this. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, the thing is like, at least when we are given assignments, we are given some time duration to complete those assignments. Uh, mm -hmm. And as we are going, like if we compare them to these module exams, it might happen that uh, on those particular days, the third year rights might have their internship tests. So how is that going to be handled? See that uh, uh, if there is any, okay, let's do it. If there is any uh, um, uh, such issues, so we'll um, handle that uh, separately. So maybe we can take uh, different exam, different time uh, for fourth year student or third year student. So. So that will uh, decide uh, later. Okay. So I, I don't think uh, uh, there will be like. Uh, so this is the same issue with the fourth year students. So we'll have placements. So can you float another form with the uh, assignments as an option? Another form means? Like survey, which you conducted. So in that assignments wasn't there as an option. So I think so everyone prefers assignments over Viva. <laughs> Uh, yes, oh, sir. yes, sir. Actually, yes, sir. Like, I also. Some portion of assignments also, sir. 
So, so this time we decided we will not go with the assignment. Okay. So seven exams will become too hectic. Sir, so, so, as we will not, have assignments, not, then we will. Like see, if we it's have not a, exam. This is just uh, a quick exam, like quick quiz sort of thing. Okay. So in that case, see if you uh, if you like uh, uh, comment like this, so perhaps we will not be able to evaluate even. Okay, so I I am telling you that uh, this is not going to be very hectic, but still I don't know why are you all worried. Not all, only this few students. So just let us start. Then you will see, just ten minutes, ten MCQ. Uh, just uh, so what uh, is the problem? An assignment you know how, how it works, and we also know. So that is why I don't think the assignment. So everyone will get the same mark, same thing. So what is the use of this? Any comment? Okay. Please let uh, let me know. Okay. Uh, any comment? Uh, sir, actually, my point was not regarding the uh, exams being hectic or so. Uh, my main mm -hmm. concern was that. Uh, like mm -hmm. you said, if in a particular week or so, like the third year rights or four year, fourth year rights have their internship or placement test, mm -hmm. uh, uh, considering that particular week and seeing what we are going to do ahead, I think that might complicate the things rather than just having assignments uh, with the deadline of a week or so. Because if in that situation, even if a person is having the internship or placement test, I guess the deadline will not affect uh, anyone. Particularly, that was the main point that I wanted to say. See, in that case, I told you, like, we'll take uh, for like exam separately, like that uh, uh, module exam separately, maybe uh, during week weekend or any other time, or maybe in the evening when they are free. So we'll take them or uh, take uh, those cases separately. So don't worry. And sir, okay, like so in it is just yeah. So in assignments, we can practice the questions and then solve. But like uh, when our chapter is completed and you will take exams directly, we won't be having much uh, like practice of the questions. So like it won't be. No, that that good. that that is why I told you. So in during this doubt clearing session, as well as we are going to uh, in in the class, we are going to solve the math. So of course I do understand. So regarding this new medicals and all, how uh, it will work without assignment. So uh, then we can now work in the class. And once again we have this doubt clearing session. So there also we can solve the question. Sir, maybe you can give time-based assignments, like limited time for assignments, something like that. If that's okay with everyone. Uh, means like uh, how will it? Uh, so uh, okay, so like time-based assignment is something like uh, like maybe like a few questions, but like let's say like one day or two days to solve. So like limited time, I guess. So it's uh, I don't know if that's okay with everyone. So that is fine. Uh, so see assignment, you know how? So assignment again, I'll give. I think most of the courses also you are getting so many assignments. So that is why I planned in the in this way. Just you will sit for 10 minutes or 15 minutes and then it's uh, like uh, evaluation is done. So uh, it, so that is like this. this uh, so again, you know, this uh, assignment, uh, how so that is why. So now. TAs uh, uh, like Arpit, uh, do you have any comment on this? Uh, sir, um, I think they are worried about the module test, like they are like those are the actual exams. So for practice also, we can, as uh, as sir said, we will be discussing some question. You can bring in your question if you are practicing something, and we can discuss those as well, right? So in case you want more practice question, then we can give you uh, some more practice questions other than that. If you want uh, to practice as well, the numericals and to be in touch with that. 
but uh, i guess module test will be the easiest way to um, evaluate because assignments you are going to write them down you are going to scan them it will take more than half an hour 100% and in the module test you just uh, sit for 15 minutes and that is then the test will be very simple thing just the basic understanding of what is going in the course so it serves both the purpose like um, evaluation with a shorter duration of time so we are not, as you said, that um, to make the course uh, less load, um, that is one of the major concern as we have seen in the survey. So we have, um, that's why we have thought about this and we went uh, uh, to this method. So I think module method is fine, but just inform us a day or two before so that we can tell you if there are any intern tests coming up in the same time. So yeah, like that, that, uh, that alone uh, you can just take okay, care. Okay. So that thing we can do. At least uh, in that case, uh, uh, we'll inform you uh, one week prior to the exam. So that is fine. That is fine. So we'll uh, understand when we are going to complete this uh, particular module. And accordingly, we'll let you know that this particular Friday we are going to have uh, this uh, module test. So that uh, we'll do. So don't uh, think that. Uh, just two days or one day back, I'll just uh, let you know that tomorrow or day after tomorrow you have having exam. So that thing we can. So also, understand. one last thing. So just uh, is it? It will be um, MCQs only, right? Like just uh, someone mm -hmm. mentioned ten MCQ sort yeah, questions. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I think in uh, JE or JE Advanced, I don't have any idea. But uh, in gate uh, exam, so that is, uh, you know, the, for pursuing a master or MTEC, you need to appear for this gate. So the kind of exam uh, or the questions uh, there in the gate, so we'll follow the same pattern. So MCQ, just you need to either, either put, the, uh, put some uh, numeric value, so something like that. So we'll give you some diagram, whether that is correct or not. So in this way, just our overall objective will be to understand whether you are correctly following the course or not okay so so that's it yeah any comment so somebody is missing uh, sorry if i interrupted someone uh, so uh, as you guys were concerned if somebody misses or something uh, sir uh, has mentioned that there will be five module tests the best four will be considered so even suppose at the end of five tests somebody has missed out we can uh, just take all those students who have missed uh, uh, missed a single test out and we can conduct that so we will manage that. Don't worry about, uh, we are not going to compromise on your intern or on your job pro pros prospect at all. So don't be worried about that. Sir, you are not audible, right? Am I audible now? I hope now. Fine, right? Yes, sir, you are audible. Any problems? Okay, so, yeah, so we are following this uh, uh, module based uh, exam or quiz, whatever you say. And then uh, this, uh, see, that is why uh, in mid sem, we are, you are not going to have any this uh, exam something like that like online or any retain anything like that simply it, is, it will be viva so essentially it is uh, four plus uh, like four marks for you need to perform in five uh, this online exam so 
if there are no more questions so we are going to next slides okay so these are the six modules uh, of this uh, e311 that we are going to follow so the first one, first module is based on the uh, semiconductor electronics so essentially in this module we'll try to understand um, that uh, how what is the concept of different carriers like you know that electrons and the holes and how to quantify these electrons and the holes and then uh, how these carriers are flowing within but uh, within a semiconductor and all other concept we'll try to understand in this uh, like just fundamental semiconductor material semiconducting material so then following that uh, um, just uh, you know this pn junction so pn junction in your uh, uh, ic161 uh, though i don't know so uh, uh, like what was the depth of the subject you could cover but here we'll try to understand uh, like uh, you know that pn junction shows uh, nonlinear characteristics so in forward bias it will allow the current to flow through the device and in reverse bias it will block the current so now here we'll try to quantify this current so in uh, this pn junction how the current is uh, flowing and how to quantify this that will try to understand from the concept of diffusion because you know this is bipolar device so diffusion is the process uh, by which your carriers are flowing or you are getting the current out of the device now following that then in third module module we'll see the metal semiconductor contacts so in metal semiconductor contacts again uh, see this pn junction is a semiconductor semiconductor contact so just the difference is in terms of doping so in one semiconductor you have a uh, majority carrier as hole and in another part of the semiconductor you have majority carrier as electron now in case of metal semiconductor contact so this is entirely different uh, uh, two material we are contacting with each other so metal and the semiconductors so now uh, this uh, metal semiconductor contacts also uh, it can give you either uh, linear characteristics that is also called ohmic characteristics or else it can give you rectifying or non linear characteristics that is essentially same as like diode characteristics or pn junction characteristics so both rectifying as well as non rectifying contacts uh, or behavior you can expect when you connect any metal to any semiconductor so on which parameters uh but it uh, like which parameters will decide whether a particular metal semiconductor contact will be rectifying or non rectifying so that will try to understand in this module and following that uh, we have this field effect transistor you know this uh, mosfet uh, will uh, like again in this particular module also we'll see all the insight of mosfet so again we'll try to derive all the equation we need to quantify them and this mosfet you know this here the carriers uh, are flowing uh, uh, due to the drift of uh, drift nature of the carrier flow and then in module 5 that is bipolar transistor essentially it is uh, like two pn junction connected back to back so in this bipolar transistor we will try to see all this uh, you know the emitter base collector and what are the different modes then what are the different models how you can use this devices for your circuit so that we will try to understand in this particular module so this is bipolar transistor so uh, then in final uh, this module 6 uh, we are trying we will try to cover few emerging semiconductors because mostly uh, as you would know i think that uh, the all the electronic appliances we are currently using uh, so the material the fundamental material uh, from which these all devices are made of it is silicon because silicon is uh, one of the most earth abundant materials so that is why again uh, not only that silicon has uh, like a 
the technology is most mature so they are like for uh, I, for the last seven decade so there has been lot of research and that is why the technology is uh, very mature so, so that is the reason uh, that we are we will primarily focus on silicon based electronics for all this uh, first five module like module one two three four five in the module six we'll see that this silicon for all the emerging applications because in terms of see this uh, devices uh, are having uh, application as a like in communication field so in communication you know now this uh, after this 4g 5g is coming so what are the changes you need to do inside the device again we'll see that for this 5g or 6g like uh, this uh, generation mobile generation or this then our frequency requirement uh, uh, will be very high that this is called rf electronics once again so that your operating frequency of the device will be very high with the generation so uh, the higher will be the generation uh, then the operating frequency will be high for your device now this silicon made devices cannot sustain this high frequency above a certain limit so the electrons cannot flow within the silicon so fast so that you can get 6g uh, or 5g like uh, operation out of your the silicon make devices so this is i am just trying to give one example Again, if you consider, let's say, power electronics. In power electronics, we have certain requirements from devices. And we'll see, considering some aspect, this silicon uh, as a material uh, will not be able to give you uh, those specifications. And then there comes the other semiconductor devices. Mostly, they, those are called compound semiconductor. So because silicon, you know, in the um, semiconductor, all the atoms are made of silicon. So if you uh, just uh, look at the mat uh, this material, so the entire crystal, this is these are all crystalline material. I'll talk about that uh, in detail later. So all the see this uh, the entire crystal is made of silicon. That is uh, why this is these are also called elemental semiconductor. So germanium as well as silicon, which are again if you look at the periodic table, it is coming in the uh, group four. So again, uh, you know that uh, four, uh, yeah, the silicon and germanium uh, has four outermost electron. So with the four neighboring silicon or germanium atom, it will form covalent bond and it will fill up that all eight electron outermost, ele like uh, in the outermost orbit. So in this way, it uh, uh, forms the overall crystal. So these are all elemental semiconductor, which are coming from the group four predictable. Now, there are semiconductors which are coming from uh, like uh, uh, column, three, uh, column 3 and column 5. So these are called 3-5 semiconductor. So again, uh, these are uh, the typical examples are, let's say, gallium arsenide, gallium nitride. So gallium is group uh, 3 element, then uh, your arsenic or nit uh, nitrogen, they are the group 5 element. So combining them, once again, here, this gallium has three outermost electron, arsenic has five outermost electron. So then you can fill up this uh, eight outermost electron and it can form the covalent bonds. So again, you can, uh, these, all the these all materials behave as a semiconductor. Now, these are called compound semiconductor. Why? Because in, obviously inside the crystal, it, you will find both gallium atom as well as arsenic atom. Unlike silicon where you will only find silicon atom okay so here uh, another thing just i quickly uh, uh, note although like uh, in the coming uh, class we'll discuss in detail uh, so we also have dopant okay it is not that key uh, silicon uh, in your silicon uh, in your semiconductor uh, when you are working with silicon electronics or silicon uh, based devices you have only silicon atom in the crystal because you, you also need to dope your semiconductor to uh, apply this semiconductor for a uh, for particular useful purpose or application, you need to dope your semiconductor. Why we need to dope it? Because to change the conductivity. Okay. 
so anyway uh, uh, perhaps uh, in the coming uh, uh, this uh, module we'll discuss so you know this in terms of conductivity the materials are uh, three type your uh, you have metal semiconductor and insulator but to fabricate uh, any electronic device so what is the uh, uh, requirement the requirement is see uh, through like in all the electronic device uh, the, so essentially you need to control the flow of carriers flow of charge that means uh, essentially you need to control the current and that current controllability will come with the variation of conductivity and this variation of conductivity is only possible if you take semiconductor as material because of course in the insulator uh, see there there are no carriers you can say and, and you cannot change the control like conductivity uh, by uh, any external means so you cannot build your device or electronic device out of any insulator and at the same time a metal uh, has lot of electrons where once again the conductivity is not controllable so that is why we we are not using uh, this metal or insulator to get the uh, fundamental portion of electronic device see i mentioned fundamental portion of electronic device because see uh, when we look into the detail of the devices we'll see all the uh, like all type of uh, uh, material like metal insulator as well as semiconductor we need to uh, fabricate a complete device because if we if i just give you an example of let's say uh, mosfet if you look at the mosfet structure i believe you all know the basic uh, schematic of mosfet structure so in the mosfet see uh, just uh, below the gate that third terminal through which you will control the um, uh, current flow between source and the drain no i am not changing the slides i am just giving you uh, or trying to give you overall uh, uh, this uh, picture like so today uh, uh, we are not going to particular slide so uh, yeah so then if you look at the uh, just below the gate uh, terminal of your mosfet see you have metal and then you have uh, insulator this is because mosfet metal oxide semiconductor so now you can see in terms of conductivity we are using all three type of uh, material so that is why i told that the fundamental portion of the this uh, device will be only made of your sil uh, the semiconductor but you need to use all the other uh, material also like metal obviously you need metal other without metal how can you connect any device with the outside world so you need wire you need metallization and also you need insulators uh, in uh, various uh, devices so we'll uh, look into uh, all this detail and uh, now okay now the now the context to us so for all this emerging application like uh, this uh, 5g 6g this rf application then high power application then uh, uh, you know this opto electronic devices are there like solar cell led photo detector so uh, so the silicon uh, cannot provide you all the requirements so it has the inherent limit so the we can see uh, like how quickly electron will move within the sem uh, semiconductor that will decide the operation that the uh, operating frequency of your device so how quickly electron will move uh between your source to drain that will decide the operating frequency of your device and that will decide whether your mobile will operate under 4g 6g or 5g now you can see with this uh, higher uh, this like high mobility requirement uh, or high speed requirement uh, of any electron within a particular semiconductor so uh, that is material limit like in silicon there is particular limit in gallium arsenide like compound semiconductor or gallium nitride like compound semiconductor uh, this uh, the speed of the semiconductor uh, like speed of the electron will change okay so now i think you can understand 
why we need all this emerging semiconductors or compound semiconductor uh, live and uh, like in in terms of research mostly the research is going on because you know this uh, as i mentioned just uh, before that the silicon technology devices all uh, they are most mature devices so now the research presently going on on those uh, uh, materials like those emerging compound semiconductors so those uh, like a uh, few part of those uh, we'll try to cover in this module 6 there are many so obviously we will not be able to cover um, all of them so we'll try to cover few of them and now this e301 i was thinking so it uh, see since you are all uh, uh, like um, your bachelor degree is in either uh, electrical engineering or engineering physics so then um, uh, like uh, for you this power semiconductor device could be a um, i would say like uh, if you look at from the application point of view you will see the application of this power semiconductor device in your coming uh, this uh, courses uh, so then i'll try to like uh, this device electronics uh, i'll try to correlate with the power application high power application so that electrical student can correlate this in future courses in uh, such as power electronics because power electronics i believe like uh, i don't know it's like it should be taken for all electrical engineering student and so i'll i'll, I'll that is why i'm trying to like uh, i'll try to correlate this device electronics uh, so that it can be helpful for uh, you to take this uh, power electronics and as well as uh, this uh, how this device electronics uh, can be helpful to uh, design this integrated circuit because integrated circuit is different okay we'll see like there are two type of devices one is discrete device and another one is integrated circuit so the device circuit everything is integrated within a single ic so we'll see and now uh, what is the time it is almost uh, 350 okay so i'll not uh, uh, go further today so today i'll stop here and from uh, i think next class that is tuesday onwards we'll start our this uh, first module so is this fine so i am stopping here today and if you have uh, like if anyone has any doubt uh, we'll be here for next 10 minutes please uh, let us know if you have any doubts again regarding uh, uh, this uh, evaluation scheme anything if you have any doubts uh, please let me know anyway okay thank you all of you uh, for joining today i'll stop recording
Okay, all TAs are here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Balram, Manoj, Arnab, and Arpit. So, what about the other uh, TAs? Hello. So, Manoj, have you Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. I have informed them about the today class. So, and they are now also in uh, like WhatsApp group also. So, 